the day they asked me to pray in church <laughs> guys do you know how to pray i didn't know that was then but today i can say a prayer confidently i can say a prayer and guys this is the story of the day i was asked to pray in a church it happened that uh we had a a wedding and this was not the wedding day that i was asked to pray it was the day we went to see the pastor to pray for the couple that was getting married and guys it was a day that was um on a sunday afternoon so it was announced in church the church uh, service that i attended in the morning that we are going to have a session in the afternoon whereby we are going to pray for the bride and the groom so everyone was asked to remain after church so that we may pray for the bride the pastors were invited uh, elders and deaconesses were invited were obviously they had to be there and i being uh the sister to the groom was asked to pray on the side of the family i got guys i did not expect uh, people to be many and i said because uh, it was um i was not uh, advised in good time that it is me who is gonna pray on the side of the family so as the arrangements were made i was comfortable knowing that i'm attending the the prayer meeting just like any other person and little did i know that i would be called or summoned by the pastor to come and pray for the family in the course of the, the, the prayer session. Guys, it happened that I was called. And when we assembled, first and foremost, the pastor introduced uh, the groom and then the bride and um, introduced the family and uh, the, 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 the bishop and the other congregants were asked to sit and be quiet as the, a member of the family introduces us to the gathering and prays for us and tells us why we are there so guys <laughs> the member the senior member of family of the family who was there was me the senior most as in age as in maturity as in uh, being the elder sister to the groom and guys my name was mentioned and uh, i had to stand up and walk to the front of the church to the altar guys where the groom and the bride were and the pastors were seated and take the microphone and face the congregant and pray guys have you ever shaken have you ever missed words have you ever tried to speak and felt a small thin sweat come out of your body with like a small tremble that was uh, emanating from me and, and uh, that gaze uh, on the face that uh, comes about when you look at many people and I was shaken. Guys, I did not know how to pray. I did not know how to pray and all eyes were on me. <laughs> all eyes were on me, guys. You may think it's funny. But let me tell you, the minute you face a congregant, the minute you face many people, especially if you've never sp uh, stood before a crowd, you feel a lot of uh, fear. I should call it fear because that is what I felt. I, I, I did, words were not coming out of my mouth. And you know, guys, I was not to just go and, and close my eyes and start praying. I was first of all to introduce the groom and, and, and uh, because he's the one who is from my side and obviously the bride whom I knew and even uh, maybe introduce myself in a way and say who I am and then I say why I'm there. <laughs> so these people expected this from me guys and there I was wordless. <laughs> but guys, um, God gave me some strength. And I stood up, walked up to the altar, and there I was, being given a microphone. I was given a microphone that I received, and guys, I introduced, I said my name, 
and uh, when I said my name, have you ever reached that point where you don't know what else to say and you start saying, ah, uh, ah, uh, and I was like, um, so, uh, guys, uh, you know, <laughs> you don't know what else to say because you're expected to pray. So, guys, I, I, I gave myself uh, some, some confidence and I, after introducing myself, I introduced the, the couple and I thanked the pastor. At least I went that far. I thanked the pastor for even assembling the, the, the meeting that we may pray for them. And by that time, my hands were all wet with sweat. I don't know where sweat came from. And guys, I was I was wetting on my palms. I was wet, guys. I was wet. And I was like, uh, guys, um, uh, um, that um, thing. <laughs> but guys, I thank God because after that, I said, let's pray. That is now where the dilemma came in. Guys, let us learn how to pray. Do you know when we pray, it's the it is the Holy Spirit that guides us on the wordings that we speak. These wordings do not come from us. It is the Holy Spirit, guys. So I was there, uh, trembling, and uh, the words were not coming. And I said, uh, guys, let's pray. And I, I, I was like, uh, what should I say? Okay, at school... It's not that I was not taught how to pray, but it is because of the, the fear of facing the, the, the congregation that gripped me. That's the reason my, 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 my prayer disappeared. So the Holy Spirit at least helped me in a way. And I said, first of all, we are going to start with the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> and this saved me, guys. It saved me. Because what happened is, I say, let's pray. Um, um, you can imagine, you are saying, um, and you have already told people, let's pray. And um, it did not sound so good. And in the course of my M's and O's and all that, I said, let's pray. The Lord's prayer. Oh, guys. Oh, okay. It's a prayer. But people expected me to pray. For this, uh, uh, about the subject, the, the subject ahead of us. So we said the, high, the Lord's prayer. You know, with the Lord's prayer, we pray all of us, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. We went up to the end of the prayer, and I was like, "Am I expected to continue praying? I have prayed, but the the pastor didn't seem to to, to lift his head." I think he, he thought that was just the beginning and a prayer is, is forthcoming as concerns the subject at hand. So guys, I remember fumbling some words which I cannot even remember. But I was like that uh, a seven-year-old girl who says, uh, Lord, I pray for my mama and my dad that you give them money that they buy me uh, uh, school books. I was like that. Uh, though that, though that those were not the wordings, of course. But guys, I was like, uh, Father, we pray that you give uh, this couple in front of us <laughs> a future when they get married I pray that you give them a future you take care of them and you give them many children <laughs> guys that's the way I prayed <laughs> I even prayed for many children to be given to this couple that was not even married guys it's good to learn how to pray, but surprisingly, <laughs> guys were impressed. Hey, I've laughed. Maka <laughs> tears are coming out of my eyes. I laugh at myself on remembering that day because it keeps amusing me that there was a time I could not even say a word of prayer before a congregant. And today, call me. I'll pray for you guys. Call me. Invite me in front of any population and I'll stand there and pray. It is not by my power nor by might, but by the Spirit of God. It's good to have a relationship with God because when you have a relationship with God, the Spirit of God in you guides you in in issues that you are not even able to to say that it is by your power. In fact the Bible says that the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit of God is the one who assists us and prays for us. 
and uh, it is not us so uh, it was appreciated just a small little and it's as it was and guys that is a time that I keep laughing about whenever I remember and my brother to this day laughs at the way I, I, I sweat and <laughs> trembled during his uh, uh, prayer session in church before the wedding and uh, but remembers that with nostalgia thank you guys even for uh, <laughs> for listening to this amusing story of my life and guys do you have a story was there have you ever gone through such a situation where you have been told come and stand before people and you are unable to do that have you ever been in such a situation i have a secret get to know how to pray get to know how to pray it is not only about prayer but even studying before people in itself that confidence is god given uh pray for it and it will be given unto you thank you for watching please like and subscribe to my channel the story of my life <laughs> that is the story of my life like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for the next video bye